American agriculture has advanced more in the space of a single lifetime than world agriculture had in more than 7,000 years. History teaches that a nation grows according to its agriculture, the very basis of life. The way agriculture's been industrialized is not sustainable at all. The promise of regenerative agriculture is to grow in a way that will protect the next generation of farmers. Agriculture can either be part of the solution or part of the problem. One of the most fateful decisions in American agriculture is when we separated animal farming from plant farming. In a really properly functioning ecosystem, plants and animals are in this symbiotic relationship that, which is an ecological loop, to the factory model where you have inputs, outputs, and waste products. That's kind of where we are with our farming now. In the short term, it allowed us to produce a lot more food more cheaply. But there are some side effects. Everything has a price. There is no such thing as a free lunch. Agriculture is today responsible for 30% of total carbon emissions. 70% of the use of fresh water, 60% for the loss of biodiversity. We are at the stage in which we really need to take action because otherwise the problem will be amplified and the consequences will be uh, enormous. It's a failed system and we have to move on from it. The best way to grow food and the best way to grow fiber is regenerative organic agriculture. Regenerative organic agriculture takes the best parts of organic agriculture and it builds on it and says, what's the best practices that we can use for soil health, for animal welfare, for labor, and for farmers? And it combines it into one standard. We need to create a world that has a future and is sustainable. We know that there is a desirable future. It's not like we are lost. Whatever we do, there's no hope. There is hope. It's just going back to relying on nature to provide what nature has to provide that we, we forgot how precious it was. Our eating is one of the biggest contributors to climate change. We have to lower the carbon footprint of our diets, and that means eating less meat and eating from a food chain that is, instead of taking carbon out of the soil, is putting carbon back in. Agriculture uniquely has the ability to sequester carbon. So we're not just talking about mitigating a problem, diminishing its effect. We're talking about actually rolling it back. It's not regressive to take things from traditional knowledge and take things from the advancement of technology and integrate those into something that's even better than the sum of its parts. That's what we have to do to save the planet. <laughs>